So it's about that time of the year for the new tech drip. And for a lot of us, we have been waiting for the brand new GoPro Hero 10. The rumors are unreal and the leaks are hot. Let's talk about some of the rumors, what GoPro has to fix, and our hopes and dreams wish list for the GoPro Hero 10. Let's talk about it. Side note, if I sound a little funny or you hear a bit of a sniffle, it's because I, I got a little sick. But but that's all right, that's all right. We, we're gonna make the video anyway because we gotta save GoPro. Just just don't come so close, okay? That's like, right right here is good. Not up here, that, that's too close. <laughs> now, let's talk about the new GoPro Hero 10. Yo, what is up guys, it's Scott. And today we are talking about GoPro. And now I know that in the past I've, I've said a couple of things about GoPro, but I am a huge fan of GoPro. I say things about them because I love them. To be real, I have owned every GoPro since they came out. I've just, I've just always been a huge fan. But something happened after the Hero 7. I don't know what it was, but the color draw, the GoPro would get so hot, and then the bugs, the freezing, the crashing, it was just getting ridiculous. So for me, it's been kind of a downhill slope ever since the 8. Bought the 8, ended up returning it after the first month. Bought the 9, ended up returning it after like two and a half weeks. But yes, the 10 is coming, and I think things might be different. If GoPro could pull it off, it'll be a game changer. And quick side note, if you didn't know, they almost went bankrupt last year. Which is why Sky Money to the rescue. We need to save GoPro by simply just letting them know what to do to make the Hero 10 amazing. So, if that sounds good to you guys, hit that like button because it helps out the channel a lot. And also, hit that subscribe button if you are new because you are a boss. And if you already subscribed, you already know that you are Ninja Boss and I love your face. So now, let's talk GoPro Hero 10. Starting with the rumors, because let's be real, the rumors are like all over the place. And now, don't get me wrong, some of them are actually really good, but to be real, a lot of these rumors on the specs will not save GoPro. But let's go ahead and talk about some of these rumors anyway, because you already know, I ain't a hater, and my hood will never let me be a hater. So, <laughs> let's talk about some of these rumors. The first one being the almighty GoPro Hero 10 being able to shoot in 8K. And now, why do we need 8K? I don't know, but the rumors are speculating that we might get an 8K GoPro. Another pretty crazy one is built-in ND filters. Now, this would actually be really cool if th this happened. I mean, I could do without it, but the idea of just having built-in ND filters in a GoPro, that, that's pretty boss. Oh no, the sun. Where's my sun going? Okay, quick side note, if you didn't know, I'm using window light, so that that's why the colors are always, you know, anyway, 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 GoPro Hero 10 room. And now, correct me if I'm wrong, Pimpin', but I do believe that the Sony RX camera, which is like a small one-inch sensor action camera that Sony made, actually had built-in ND filters. So, I mean, it, it is possible, especially if a camera that size. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. The next big rumor has to be GoPro Hero 10 getting a one-inch sensor. Now, this one, Yes, please. If GoPro pulls this off, these cameras are flying off the shelves. A one inch sensor would mean better low light performance, a huge bump up in image quality, and could have better dynamic range. So yes, huge yes on the one inch sensor. I mean, because if you didn't know, the GoPro has had the same sensor size for the last like four years or, or something crazy like that. So yeah. The sensor size on this GoPro Hero 7 is the same as the one in the 9. So, so yes, bump that baby up. Another big rumor floating around is that the GoPro Hero 10 might actually have lens mods. I could see this happening, but to be honest, I could do without it. I'm just being real. I could do without it. I have also read that it might look a little different, which I'm hoping not, because that would really suck for the people who bought the Hero 9. So I'm hoping that if it is a difference, I'm hoping it's not too big of a difference. But I will say I am all for no bezels, a bigger screen on the GoPro. I am all for that. There is just no reason to have these huge bezels around the screen anymore. No, no, it, I mean, come on, guys, it's 2021, come on. I mean, we, we thugs, we bosses, we need bigger screens. <laughs> also, you might see a bump up in frame rate of 4K 120, which will be, like, don't get me wrong, that's, that's 
have balls, but for me, I, I don't need it. Not to be real, you don't need it. But what we do need is a new process. GoPro, oh my God, GoPro, GoPro. GoPro has been flexing the same processor like for a while. Like it's been so long that it's not even funny anymore. They're adding these new specs, adding new software, but, but these GoPros can't handle it. it you gotta have an updated processor. The GP1 has just been around for too long and it needs an upgrade. The laggy screens, the freezes and crashes, that's all because the processor is too old. The GP1 is just too old. GoPro! So GoPro, you better step this one up. It, it's a must, like you, you just cannot do it. But at the same time, it's almost a terrible time to upgrade your processor because, because I'm sure you guys already know, but there's been like chip shortages. So yeah, but hopefully they got that straightened out with and they got what they needed to upgrade this process. And the last two rumors floating around are a detachable screen, which is, guess that would be cool, but we don't need it. And a way to actually sync up the camera so that you and like a buddy be out, press record, and in post, be able to have this whole multi-cam thing going on, which sounds pretty cool in theory. And as for the release date, GoPro tends to release a camera usually around September or October. So yeah, it's coming. And now, before I get my thoughts on these rumors, I have to know, what do you guys think about these rumors? And be honest, like, be Honest, what would you like to see from this new GoPro Hero 10? Like, like for real, let me know in the comments, like right now, let me know. Because this, because this is kind of a big deal for GoPro. This is actually make or break for them. Like I believe the past like three or four years, they haven't been doing that well. And then they almost went bankrupt last year. So yeah, it's sad, but this might be it for them if they can't get the Hero 10 right. So Sky, what are your thoughts on saving GoPro? You, you know, glad you asked Pimpin. And now my personal thoughts on what I think they should just focus on for the Hero 10 to come out on top. And what they should not focus on to come out on top with this Hero 10. First of all, 8K, you don't need it. 5K is plenty. For the average consumer, there are no workflows for 8K yet. Just, it's just not out there. So, 8K, bunk it. Leave it alone. Built-in MD filters, it's a good idea, but again, we don't need it. You can leave it alone. A detachable screen, Psh, hard pass on detachable screens. Like. What would be the point? Le no, that would be a huge waste of time and resources. Le I, you, no, just no. And you have the wireless charging. Okay, so um, quick side note, I completely forgot to mention the wireless charging rumor. So yeah, there was a rumor of wireless charging. Just pretend that this part is in the beginning where I'm talking about the other rumors. Got it? Promise? Okay, cool. You, you guys are bosses. And you have the wireless charging. Now, to be honest, wireless charging just isn't there yet. So also, I would say leave it alone. It takes so long to wireless charge something. Nobody ain't got time for that. So personal opinion, I would say leave it alone. Leave all that stuff alone and just focus on making a good functional camera. Bigger bezel will be great. Definitely put some focus on the UI because the user interface is like terrible. So definitely throw some focus on the UI. Like when I'm using this camera, I don't want to feel like I'm using a 2011 smartphone. And now I know that sounds bad, but that's how bad the lag was on the eight and the nine. So definitely focus on the user interface. And what would help that is a better processor and a better processor working with the hardware and software. Put these things together and you have an amazing interface. I mean, to be real, there are really only like two things that you guys mainly need to focus on. And that's the processor as well as the sensor. Focus on the processor to help with all those bugs and crashes so people would stop buying and then returning or buying and then selling them off and recording and losing footage. Like nobody has time for that. GoPro, nobody had time for that. Every year you're adding more features, new this, new that, but the same processor. And the processor simply just cannot handle this stuff. Do you know how hot the GoPro Hero 9 gets if you shoot in 5K? That's because the processor is struggling. Do you know how many videos I've watched on the GoPro Hero 9 and scrolled onto the bottom and looked at the comments and how there's just like a large amount of comments talking about the freezing, talking about the bugs, talking about the laggy screen. Like one of the comments that I always see in a GoPro Hero 9 video no joke is great camera if you don't mind losing your footage like it, it shouldn't even be like that it, it, come on GoPro you got this you got this so overall what GoPro needs to do to make the 10 like amazing is focus on the overall user experience as well as upgrading the sensor size because the sensor size is that would be a complete game changer for GoPro the Insta360 just popped up on the scene with a one-inch sensor and everybody was like what 
but they had a problem too because I actually had the N360 one and sent it to as well, which I sold. Like the image quality was amazing, but the focus level was off. Like it was, it was just weird. Look, bottom line, GoPro's just gonna have to really bring the sauce with this one. Well, AK, 5K60, forget, like bump all of that. Bigger sensor and a new processor. That's it. And just make sure this thing run as smooth as possible. I mean, smoother than butter on your butt cheek smooth. Insta360 and DJI are like gunning for GoPro. So they really have to step it up. They gotta bring the sauce. Look, nobody wants to see them go out of business. I mean, you know how sad that would be? Like, no more GoPro? So GoPro, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You already have amazing stabilization, the best in the game, as well as your audio. Like, your audio game is up there. Like, not for nothing, wherever your audio engineer is, they need a raise. Cause the audio on GoPros have always been like top notch. Keep the same battery, use the same accessories, wireless charging, we don't need it. If the camera itself is top notch, then start adding in all that fancy stuff that the camera can handle. Because again, DJI Action 2 is coming and Insta360 is just pumping out cameras like ski balls. So you gotta be on your toes. I mean, it's a big year for GoPro. It's 10 years, it's the big 10 GoPro X. So they have to bring the drip. They gotta bring the sauce. But yeah, those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about these leaks and rumors that are going around on the new GoPro Hero 10? What do you guys think GoPro should do? Because remember, they were on the brink of bankruptcy last year. So what do you think they should do? Do you think they should add all these fancy specs like wireless charging, built-in ND filters, detachable screens? Or do you think they should just focus on building a great, amazing camera like they have in the past? I mean, minus that time they tried to build a drone. But yeah, before that, they've been killing it. But seriously, what do you guys think? And try to be honest because again, it will be kind of sad to see GoPro go bankrupt and then just not be around anymore. I feel like we need that competition between DJI, Insta360, and GoPro. Those are like the three. And I know GoPro's had a rough couple of years, but we need them. We, we need them in the mix, let's be real. So yeah, what do you guys think? And that is it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button because you know it helps out the channel a lot. And also hit that subscribe button because you are a boss and we're on our way to 10K. So hit that subscribe button. And when the new GoPro comes out, you best believe I'ma get it. I got my bag ready, I'm ready to go. But yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one.